Communication is on the list of being one of the most important aspects of preparedness. We use things like cell phones, handheld radios, or even ham radios to currently accomplish this. However, what if you need to be anonymous? Even harmless conversations can put you in danger even if there's nothing to hide. This is The Digital Prepper, and today I'm going to be talking about an application that looks like it will be an excellent provider of privacy, Simple X Chat. Why you need to start using this and how it can be used for your digital preparedness. Before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that if you do like the video and want to discuss anything regarding digital preparedness or just preparedness in general, be sure to help get this video out to more potential preppers by leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing to see more like this. With that being said, let's get started. Before we talk about the application itself, I want to first talk about why privacy is so important in the modern world, even for harmless or non-controversial conversations. In the online world that presently rules our lives, Protection of our data, which is vital to having any illusion of privacy, often falls upon individuals and the organizations that they're dealing with. One of the most shocking stories related to someone being in danger over their communications is the experience of Mohammed al Salahi. This is a man who was put into the Guantanamo Bay camp and tortured for 15 years just because of a phone call to his relative who was under suspicion of being involved in the 9-11 attacks, but never actually was. The fact that these governments and corporations like the NSA, for example, could theoretically be listening in on your phone calls or text messages should make you concerned on what you might be sharing. Again, even if it's a harmless conversation. With that all being said, let's talk about SimpleX Chat and how it works. So, to put it simply, SimpleX Chat is a private messaging platform that is available on Android as well as iOS devices, and people on these different platforms can still communicate with each other. What makes it unlike any other messaging platform that is out here currently is that it has no identifiers assigned to any of the users which includes random numbers that are generated by other applications, for example. With no user identifiers, this protects the privacy of you and the person that you're communicating with. Now, with that being said, you're probably wondering how you can even communicate with people then. Well, with no user IDs like other platforms, SimpleX instead has multiple identifiers to each messaging queue that you have on your application. In the future, the developers are actually planning to add Tor to protect your IP address while using the application as well. In order to connect to another person, you actually create a one-time connection link or a QR code and share this either in person or over a video call, which are the most secure ways to share these links. Once another user scans that QR code or opens the application via the link that is sent to them, the connection will be created and you can send end-to-end -end encrypted messages privately. And you can even send files and images without anybody knowing that you're connected. When you actually send a message, SimpleX stores any user data on your device and any messages are only held temporarily on encrypted relay servers until they're received by the other party. Now, with that being said, you actually do have the option to create and use your own SimpleX servers, which is great for having that complete ownership and control over your data. So now that we've had a general overview of what SimpleX Chat is and how it works, you might be thinking how this is different from any other private chat applications that are out here currently, like Signal, Session, or Matrix. The main difference is that with all of these other platforms that I've mentioned, the same user ID that is created will be used for all of your contacts. This means 
in simple terms that the user ID that you have with these other applications is used to not only establish the connection to your contacts, but also to deliver all of your messages to those contacts, which is a severe security issue. For example, with Signal, Signal is a centralized platform that uses your phone number to identify its users and their contacts, meaning that while the content of your messages on Signal is protected with end-to-end -end encryption, there is a large amount of data visible to Signal, like who you talk to and when, meaning that you basically just have to trust that they don't do anything negative with your data. With some of the other applications like Session or Matrix, for example, even though these platforms don't require a real identity like your name or email address, they do rely on anonymous user identities to deliver your messages. For example, this could be a identity key or a random number generated by the application. Now, because they use a persistent user identity, even though it might seem anonymous, it creates a risk that your connection becomes known to the observers like your internet service provider, for example. And this can lead to your data not being anonymous. With SimpleX, there is no common data between your conversations with different contacts, which is the major quality that no other messaging application has. So now that we know a little bit more about SimpleX Chat and how it's vastly different from the competition thus far, what can we actually do with it? And how can it be used for your digital preparedness? Well, as I've talked about in a previous video regarding the Tor browser, given the increase in internet monitoring and hackers, the Tor browser can be used to hide your internet activity from people that you don't want spying on you like hackers or advertisers or any other websites that are looking to sell your browsing data. The same can be said about SimpleXChat, but in terms of communication. Now, some people might even ask why you need to be anonymous unless you're doing something wrong. Well, unfortunately for certain people that live in oppressive regimes, ordinary people who didn't even commit any crimes do get arrested and prosecuted based on their communication data. Now, you might not need anonymity to the parties that you communicate with, but what you really should want is anonymity from anyone and everyone that has the ability to observe your communications, unless you are happy that the data that you create can be used for a large range of things, such as targeted advertising to slightly more damaging social scoring and price discrimination to even potentially life-changing prosecution just based on your associations. For some people, their failure or success is based on their reputation and their associations with other people. This is nothing new. But nowadays, this can be augmented with technology and negatively used by more and more organizations. To wrap things up, Simple X Chat, from my experience and research, has the potential to reinvent what privacy means to people. I really hope that the developers continue to make improvements to this application and that more and more people are informed of this application to take advantage of taking back their digital privacy. Being able to have anonymity is a necessary part of privacy. Other so-called private messaging applications can sometimes see who talks to who as well as other information of ours, like our phone numbers. With information like this, your identity can be determined as well as your close connections. Overall, this excludes any possibility of privacy. Now, back in the day when snail mail was the main form of communication, the fact that your envelopes could not be opened was sufficient for people's privacy, as nobody could conceivably understand the complete list of people that I sent mail to or how frequently I did. However, now when most if not every single piece of electronic communication is recorded and stored indefinitely, the privacy of the content of these messages is absolutely necessary for the privacy of the communicating parties. 
Again, overall, I believe that you'll be glad to have added SimpleX Chat to your digital preparedness plans. And like always, a link to this application will be in the description below. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to get more videos like this that will help you with your digital preparedness. If you have any ideas for more videos or just want to share your experiences with prepping, please leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay prepared, more digital prepping to come.